Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going over space weather and some activity we're watching today. There's a significant storm situation that may unfold in the southwest Indian Ocean, and we've got top science news of an unusual nature. Let's get started with the last 24 hours on our star where we didn't get much in the way of flaring. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are calm. That coronal hole will amplify the solar wind at the end of the week. And bottom left near 7 or 8 o'clock position we see a filament release violently due south. This area has a bit of sunspot development. There's another filament there too and it is turning towards the earth. The train of moisture that a remnant of a cyclone is about to access at the coast of Madagascar. It is losing strength and won't be a named storm, but this is a stall situation and it's a big amount of water. Flood watch there. Let's go next to our first science article where once again we're seeing the fundamental easy answer ignored because of the broader implications. The stuff they invoke to explain why thunderstorms are fundamentally different over land versus ocean is tantamount to scientific gymnastics. Lightning structure and dynamics are impacted by environment, obviously. The ocean is ultra-conductive, basically an electrode. Of course the lightning behavior will be different compared to the non-homogeneous and less conductive land, but then again, if they went with that explanation, then of course what space weather does to the atmosphere has a dramatic impact on the weather and climate, and they can't have that. But our top story today comes here. We see a combination of forcings. It's well understood that solar dynamics play a role in revolutions, terrorism, uprisings, regime change. Traceable for centuries, and here not only did a team show it applies to recent events, but another team showed an interesting social fuel to the fire, one that will be familiar to most of you watching here today. Quick little update on the film. Adding to the update in the last live stream, New Year's Eve, I watched the penultimate cut two days ago. The final delays, which were my fault due to nitpicking and needing things just right, are resolved and the film will be coming out soon. Thanks to GoldCo and GoldObservers.com, you will all get to see the film for free. No streaming service, no theater tickets, right here online. GoldObservers.com you know, gold and silver are value stores, and they've been so for all of history. They surge in a breakdown, and chemically and homeopathically, they are invaluable in the next age of Earth. Stack the metal. Why not go with observers when you do so? Goldobservers.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.